I'm sure by now everyone knows who Elon Musk is, and that he has bought many expensive things. I'm your host Mikhail, and today I'm going to tell you the top 10 expensive companies Elon Musk should never own. And I'll be setting this list by telling you companies he could buy with how much money he has, and then I'll tell you a bad thing he's done or said justifying why he shouldn't own that company. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you know every time we upload a new video. Starting off this countdown at number 10, Coca-Cola. Three days after finalizing the Twitter deal, Musk was again looking at other businesses. This time he shared rather lighthearted that his next stop is to purchase Coca-Cola, one of the most recognized brands in the world and which at the moment is much more than just a soft drink maker. His primary motivation for purchasing Coca-Cola, he says, is to reinstate Coke in the soft drink. Quote, next time I'm buying Coca-Cola to put the white powder substance back in. Although some people might find this claim a little controversial, Coca-Cola did initially contain a small amount of that substance that was gradually lowered and eventually removed. Elon Musk's statement might have been a joke, but that doesn't make it any less plausible. It's estimated that Coca-Cola was at a value of $87.6 billion in 2021, and the math appears to be in Elon's advantage when we compare that to his current net worth of $255.8 billion. If he bought it, he would still have more than $100 billion left. Number 9. Miro Miro is an online editing and production tool assistant for photographers that use artificial intelligence akin to Photoshop but much quicker and more streamlined. The tech behind Miro lets AI edit raw images automatically. It also matches freelance photographers with companies looking for content with the 24-hour turnaround time. Miro raised $230 million in 2019, pushing its value to $1 billion to become one of Europe's fastest growing companies of the decade. Miro CEO Thomas Rebud wants to host more photographer meetups in the future, host master classes, and maybe even launch a magazine. But with a value of $1 billion, that leaves it open for Musk to buy if he wants. But he shouldn't, obviously. He once tweeted misogynistic things at Senator Elizabeth Warren just because she said he should pay more in taxes. Number 8. Uber There's been no mystery about Musk's plans for Tesla or his entry into the ride-sharing industry. He even went so far as to imply that the Tesla network would look like Airbnb in the ride-sharing industry. And Musk is not someone who has small dreams. However, the service is not yet available, but instead of starting from scratch, Elon Musk will probably purchase an established ride-sharing company that already has the required infrastructure and some traction. He might choose lesser firms, but he could undoubtedly afford Uber, which has a market cap of $46.47 billion. But if he desires bigger customer base, he could still go for it. Tesla, which is owned by Musk was once ordered to pay nearly $137 million to a former black employee who said the company ignored repeated complaints that he was called the N-word and that his colleagues, quote, had drawn German propaganda and scratched a racial name in a bathroom stall and left drawings of derogatory cartoons of black children around the factory. In a message to Tesla employees, a human resources executive downplayed the man's allegations, noting he was a contractor, not a full-time staffer, and that other witnesses had said that while they heard racial slurs, they were used in a, quote, friendly manner. Like, there's nothing friendly about that. Number 7. DoorDash DoorDash launched in San Francisco in 2013 and has since gained a fair amount of competitors like Uber Eats, Postmates, and Seamless. But the company faced backlash in 2019 for its pay model for delivery workers that sometimes meant workers didn't actually receive customers' tips. The company changed its policy following the criticism, but considering this was a scandal in their business, it seems like it would be right up Elon's alley, considering all the stuff that's already happened with Tesla. Oh, and Tesla employees have called the company, quote, modern day sweatshop. But right now, DoorDash remains a private company and co-founder Tony told Forbes the company will not disclose financials, but is still not profitable. He said the company plans to continue to raise money, launch new products, and expand the service. Number 6. Robinhood With a user base of over 6 million, the app also offers the option of buying and trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. There were a lot of people who didn't believe in it, and we had to bang down a ton of doors, co-founder Vlad told Business Insider. Some of Robinhood's flashier investors include Snoop Dogg and San Francisco-based venture capital firm Index Ventures. Robinhood's rise didn't come without some roadblocks, however. In 2019, the company had to walk back the launch of its huge checking and savings accounts within just one day of its announcement, but that probably wouldn't stop Elon from trying to buy it. But hey, remember when he wrote to Bernie Sanders, who also thinks the richest man in the world should pay more in taxes, quote, I keep forgetting that you're still alive. Number 5. Ford Motors Ford's first quarter loss of $3.1 billion was mostly caused by a decline in the value of its investment in electric vehicle startup. But Musk could simply purchase the company for its current mark cap of $46.6 billion and still have enough cash left. But should he? He allegedly uses Twitter to engage in security fraud. The Securities and Exchange Commission had charged Elon Musk with securities fraud for a series of false and misleading tweets about a potential transaction to take Tesla private. At this point, should this guy even own anything? Number 4. Calm As mental health initiatives spread across the country, the Calm app and its many features like breathing exercises 
abuse and sleep stories have gained a lot of traction. Calm got the attention of celebrities like Ashton Kutcher and his VC firm Sound Ventures. In July 2019, Calm completed a 115 million Series B raise, bringing its value to a bit over 1 billion and making it the first so-called unicorn startup focused on meditation. Co-founders Alex Tu and Michael Acton Smith plan to expand Calm through its partnerships with Express Spa, American Airlines, Sonos, and Uber. Now, Musk once paid a private investigator $50,000 to dig up dirt on a cave diver after he and many others said that his idea wouldn't work. If you got that hurt over that one comment, maybe he should buy this company because clearly he needs it. Number three, Clubhouse. Clubhouse is a platform that accepts users solely by invitation. This app enables users to audio chat with each other about subjects including sports, cryptocurrency trading, and more. Basically, you may look for topics that interest you and join the chat rooms for those topics. Elon Musk will be interested in the Clubhouse because he uses it, as with many other CEOs, and because he has made free expression on all social media platforms a top priority. But remember when a female worker said intimate harassment was rampant in the Tesla company, alleging nightmarish conditions in a factory that quote, more resembles a crude, archaic construction site or frat house than a cutting edge company in the heart of the progressive San Francisco Bay Area. And the company coincidentally did not respond to multiple requests for comments from the Washington Post. Number two, Impossible Foods. Founded in 2011, Impossible Foods makes plant-based food to replace meat, dairy, and fish. This past year, the Silicon Valley-based company launched a nationwide partnership with Burger King, bringing its plant-based burgers to thousands of locations across the US. Demand for its product led Impossible Foods to complete a 300 million Series E funding round in May 2019, skyrocketing its value to 2 billion as the demand for a better vegetarian burger fries up. Some noteworthy investors include pop singer Katy Perry, tennis star Serena Williams, and Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. At the end of 2019, the company said it was turning out a million pounds of the product every month, and there are no signs of demand slowing down. And remember what he said about Coca-Cola, quote, next time I'm buying Coca-Cola to put the white powder substance back in. So knowing him, if he bought this company, he would probably want to put real meat in plant-based food. Number one, Microsoft. If you've been paying attention to Elon Musk's online tirades, you are surely aware of his ongoing dispute with Bill Gates. A fellow billionaire and former world's richest person, the situation has become so bad that Musk has accused Gates of shorting Tesla's stock, which is essentially betting on a company's demise. In the past, he has also tweeted derogatory remarks against Gates. Now that Bill Gates no longer owns the majority of Microsoft shares, it wouldn't be a huge surprise if Elon Musk opted to purchase a sizable part of the company, even if his fortune is far from what he would need to purchase Microsoft. And not to mention when Musk tweeted a photo of Bill Gates and wrote, in case you need to lose a fast. But that is all. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.